Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. This thing here gets 100 miles per gallon, goes 0 to 60 in 5 seconds and finished 10th in the X Prize. Is it an EV? Is it a hybrid? Nope. Just a super efficient gas engine. We're here at Team Wikispeed to find out how this company wants to completely revolutionize the auto manufacturing process. How about that? That's zero to 60 in five seconds. This is a fun car right here. You can really play with this thing. This is the Wikispeed SGT01. Because it's four wheel independent suspension, it's pretty stiff and it sticks to the road really well. It's about as wide as a Ferrari 458 Italia. The engine was originally intended for a vehicle weighing twice this weight. And that engine, that engine really gets this thing up to speed pretty quickly. <laughs> Woo! So we're here with Joe Justice, founder of Wikispeed. Joe, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. Thanks for coming to my garage today. Absolutely. Is that actually your real name? Yeah, that was actually born. I asked my mom, yeah. why Joe Justice? We we're thinking of St. Joseph. And I go, oh, okay, well, I, can, I can work with that. So tell me about Wikispeed. How did this come to be? It started as a car project in my garage, and we were building ultra-efficient, 100 mile per gallon cars. And then we started doing other social good projects, stuff that would make the world a better place. More people joined in as volunteers after work. We all have day jobs. And now there's Team Wikispeed shops in more than 20 countries. You guys were connected early on with XPRIZE, right? In 2008, the Progressive Insurance XPRIZE was announced. We entered that challenge. We tied for 10th out of 136 cars overall. We didn't get $10 million, but we gelled as a team and we started opening up team offices all over the world from people who are interested. And we're entirely funded by folks who PayPal us $10 a month and that lunches all the teams all over the world. That's fantastic. That was a result of competing in the X Prize and getting to show that we were able to make a difference and make working product. Why did you guys decide to go with an engine? Why not go EV? Why not go hybrid? Obviously those were other entrants in the X Prize game as well. When we analyzed the scoring criteria, it looked like straight gasoline would actually have a slight advantage. Now, it does look like the future might be trending towards EV. We're pretty excited that we're developing two electric drivetrain modules, and those are able to be swapped out. So if someone takes home a Wikispeed car, they're not taking home a gasoline car or an electric car, they're taking home something that can be either one of those in about the time it takes to change a tire. The car has eight pieces and it disassembles into eight pieces. We can change any one of them and put it back together and that helps us make a new model of the car every seven days. New engine, new transmission, new interior, new crush structures, new seat belts, whatever it is we need to change. We take the every seven days iterations from agile project management, which has bloomed in software. It's now one of the dominant methods. We use scrum teams all over the world that lets us focus our work on exactly what we want to do and move really, really fast with high quality and happy people. It's a little bit loose. The steering's a little loose as you might think. I don't know how excited I would be to just hand the keys of this over to somebody who is just used to driving a regular car. I'm not saying it takes extra skill, but you kind of got to be on your game here. This is a pretty stripped down version of what a lot of people are used to driving. There's really park, reverse, and drive. That's it. So you push on one of those buttons and you're either parking, reversing, or driving. It gets a little bit light, a little squirrely once you get up to speed. You really have to mash on the brakes to bring you down. There's a surprisingly large amount of room for as small as this looks in here. There's a seat heater that was just put in yesterday. <laughs> I love it. That's what you can do in something like this. You decide you want something and you just do it. You put it in. What does it look like from a sales perspective? We do sell cars, but all the revenue goes back to our R&D. We've actually just registered ourselves as a not-for-profit. So any money that comes in is put towards making more efficient cars and other social good initiatives like the Wikispeed Micro House we're working on to help end involuntary homelessness. Yeah, yeah. We try to think big and luckily we're having successes in those areas. But yes, we sell cars like a normal car company. We sell them online at www.wikispeed.com. 
We've sold four of our prototypes. With those four, we're about halfway to funding our C3 development. C3 is our comfy commuter car. That's our more mainstream product. We want something that's compact parking and very city friendly. We also want it to be much less expensive. We sell our prototypes right now at $25,000. The majority of cars in the United States are sold right around $17,000. We want to get under that target with the C3 and have a compact car that seats four adults safely, gets over 100 miles per gallon, and we'd like it to cost less than $10,000. There you have it, Team Wikispeed showing that challenging the norm can actually pay off. I'm sure this thing isn't perfect, but they're definitely headed in the right direction. And it's awesome to think you could be a part of this process, whether you're here in the shop tinkering or at home just submitting ideas. But enough talk, I gotta take this thing back in the shop. Seven days later, and this thing will be a whole new generation. For TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.